Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about MTG Line, where we're heading, who we're going to ask to help us. Uh, in this picture, you see one of my very close friends, and at the time, we were at we briefly worked at the same company together, probably less than four weeks. Then she went to Europe to very adventurous, uh, incredibly free spirited, and she does not have any social media at all. But I think we just need solid people I can trust. I'm not going to lie to you. The past month has been very difficult. Things have been done poorly. And partially that is for me to... That's part of my blame. I should hire the right people. And I should have been a little bit more careful as well as stringent. Like no more 2 hour 22 minute lunches in the middle of the day. That probably was sign number one that something was not going to go correctly. But I like to give people chances. I like to give people opportunities. And part of my previous team, again, it was just a mismatch of people who were part of a startup in San Francisco. And it went well. Would I have imagined? I was kind of the skeptic, right? Here you put a bunch of people with all different lives and this is me sleeping and you can see my CTO on the, you know, the seat with the blanket. He's always so cold. Like the office could, we're in, we're in Texas now and the office can be over a hundred degrees and he'll still wear his stuff. So we are currently undergoing a buyout. So I am trying to buy out the current company. It is going very slowly and very difficult. Uh, it is not easy. But and it's very painful because your bank accounts, all of these things, your mer merchant accounts, even things that you don't think of, uh, amendments and things in your contract are have to change because it is quote a buyout. So we're buying out our current investors and we are bringing on a new batch. I should say one partnership, which would be good for us. What does that mean for MTGLine.com? It's a beautiful website. I designed it myself. I mean, I designed it in less than 50, 50 to 100 hours. Sometimes, like, it depends on how you calculate backend and stuff. But it is not a, it's a custom, it's a beautiful custom website. And the backend is even stronger with the merchant account. And this is actually our favorite place to eat. It's this random Indian place in the middle of nowhere. And we love it. I mean, we just love it. The food's good. People are, the servers are incredibly nice. And this life is not for everyone. I can I can get it. I can understand that if you have other responsibilities in life, maybe you have other things that take your time, then yeah, you're not going to enjoy this life because it is, it is hard. Um, you can't work 20 hours a week and survive. You have to work 40 hours a week. You, 40 is the minimal I would expect anyone to work. Now, a lot of that time is spent learning. A lot of this time is spent making the videos on the Gutterless channel. You can check that channel out. Not that any of you could spell it, but I guess you could try. And that's where Sophie makes her videos. That is where uh, Isabel, you can find some of Isabel's videos. You can find some of Amy's videos, some of Maddie's videos. And I've always enjoyed, uh, Brandon, I think, is on there somewhat. I'm pretty sure Brandon is in some of the videos as well. He's a developer, Austin. Um, Austin is back to New York, a really good dude. I wish him the best of luck. And that's the thing about startups. Your turnover is incredibly high. Oh, this is the uh, tour. So these free pictures or pretty old pictures I was gonna delete off my phone for space because why not? So I felt like I would just throw them up. But these are the new pictures that our photographer Alex took. Really good, I mean, she's a brand new to our team. and. I like her. I mean, she's just a brand new photographer doing stuff. And we just say, hey, you know, go around Houston, take some pictures for our blogs and photography on biggale.com and go for it. I really enjoy people. I enjoy working with people. I enjoy making, as a boss, I pay myself less. I haven't been paid in January at all. I'm probably not going to be paid in February at all during this buyout, but that doesn't mean my the workers are not paid. The workers are paid before I get paid. 
and I live and breathe by one principle. And this might be hard for a lot of you to understand, but I have seen it work. So I was very skeptical of this as well, is you give freedom to someone for the first 30, 60 days. And you see how they behave, you see how they react, you see who they are as a person. And if you like them as a person, and not just you, but the other team members. So anytime we hire or we let go of someone, it is a team discussion. And yeah, it was, I think we, I think I'm gonna pause mtgline.com for a little bit of time. We do have the store, but the store we can easily, we can change it into a non-public marketing store and our marketing agency. And that's what we're gonna go with. Um, it's gonna be great. Jess doesn't need to work from home. We've been pretty much bootstrapped uh, and until we get more investment money and February is gonna be really hard it be a really tough month for us in February and January was a tough month too. So to add and, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't expect the best from someone unless they really believe in what you're doing. And if they don't believe in what you're doing, they're going to be lazy. They're going to not show up to meetings, um, client meetings even. I mean, the most important meeting would be the meeting that client would be there. Uh, they're not going to be late all the time. They're either text you that they're late or they will say that they are, are uh, not text you and take a two hour plus lunch. Um, be sick a lot of time. I mean, yeah, it's winter time. People get the flu. I get that. And that's why I'm very flexible. But at the end of the day, like good people are good people and bad people are bad people. So if someone believes in what your company stands for if someone believes in this channel i want to the timetable i was very clear the timetable was i was going to start someone in mid-december so i was looking for someone and it took about 30 days to find that someone and then i they were going to start mid-december and then 90 days later they were going to have this entire channel and a website and hopefully we would hit the break even point by june so i did a a business plan which I present to the bank therefore that's how I got funding whenever you get need a loan from the bank they're going to ask you for a business plan the business plan made a lot of sense they made it was very sound uh, but you know I'm glad I, I live or die by the philosophy that if you micro if you have to micromanage someone you're not going to get the best out of them plus you're not going to see like their true colors you need to let them go and see if they're a hard worker naturally, if they're on time naturally, if they are, you know, working the 40 hours and not skimming hours, if they are working, you know, if they want to be there. And that's the key. So our office, our new office is a ton of very valuable things are in the office and we do lock up and we do have security cameras and all that stuff. But it is still, you got to trust the person. Um, you you gotta trust a person. So when uh, we work from my home, Sophie comes in and she has the key to my place. So whenever she needs to come in when I'm not here, well, I'll give her the key. Now there is a security system and all that stuff, but you you have to trust like um. And that's the same thing with San Francisco. We all had keys to the same place, and there was laptops. There were very expensive MacBooks. There were all these. There was TVs and everyone had keys to the place and we all trusted each other that no one would steal anything and no one did because our team was good so i'm trying to rebuild this team i know if i can get this team together of 10 people right now it's jessica C is brilliant and facebook made an offer she turned on the offer to stay with us because she liked it better we have Austin, I guess remotely, we can bring Austin back with you know a deal, a kind of deal. Uh, Sophie, me, Brandon, Norman, Norman, not the non dog Norman, and yeah, and then Niha, who is really good at graphic design. Oh, and Alex, yeah, the photographer, uh, the new photographer. So we're always looking for like people who want it, and I know a lot of. People ask, I, most people we hire don't have education. They don't have college degrees. They didn't, they never went to college. Um, I rather have someone who is dedicated and maybe doesn't have, 
you know, there's many reasons people don't go to college. It's not for them or it's very expensive. Maybe their families don't have money to give them to go to college. So a lot of people do. I was in a bank today doing banking stuff with my new, uh, with not my new company, with the buyout. And, you know, I heard a mom talk about how she spent the, uh, the child's college fund on a trip to Disney and now there's no money left. And she was in Chase, like screaming at Chase people. And they were like, well, we can't help you. You misspent your money. I was like, okay, well, that's kind of bad. But at least the mom thought about paying for college, right? It's a sad situation, but I think she took it out of the college fund and she wrote the check to her and she was custodian and something. It was very, it sounded complicated, but then when the guy like kind of explained it to her, it was very simple that you can't take money from that college fund and just deposit it and spend it yourself. Anyway. Oh, here's another picture. We like to go on tours and hikes and just fun stuff. We're just a fun bunch of people. And it is sad when someone doesn't work out, but I'd rather have that knowledge to know that down the road. So the most dangerous part is we had this guy, his name was M and his name started with an M. His name wasn't M. And down the road, when we were in the stages of selling the company, that's when people get kind of you don't want to see their true colors down that stage. I would rather determine that early on and make my decision based on our personality as a team and their personality than, you know, down the road we're selling equity and suddenly this person is going crazy at that point, but was able to keep their crazy intact. You know, I, I live and die by the philosophy. It's the same philosophy Steve Jobs does and I have read all his books and his autobiography is um, and there's a very famous line in the movie where they're asking him hey this guy who started with you why don't you give him shares why don't you give him equity and he said he doesn't deserve it I think that's very interesting because even even if you it's like Bill Belichick and he gets rid of players even that he even though he likes them and they have won championships together he knows when it's time to move on the one exception of course is tom brady and i will you know i i love tom brady i know you guys are going to dis like this because i love tom brady i was watching an interview with him and he was like oh the football and the family is my life and to beat me you have to give up your life i think he's right uh, Tom Brady, Elon Musk, uh, Michael Jordan. If you look at these people who are Steve Jobs or add normal, and I'm not saying I'm one of them. I play Fire Emblem <laughs> and Fate Grad Order. So that's, I'm pretty sure none of them play that. They are willing to sacrifice a lot and it is very painful and you learn. Anyway, bye guys.